What's up everyone? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this week's video, I'm gonna be talking about everything inside of my camera bag for 2021. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. Here is my camera bag. It's a Peak Design version two, 20 liter. It's got a ton of cool nifty pouches in it. You can kind of swing it to the side, just open up and see all your camera gear like this. And it's got these foldable adjustments right here so you can kind of customize it i've used quite a few camera bags in the past this one is by far my favorite by the way guys nothing in today's video is going to be sponsored this is just my genuine opinion of what i think about the brands okay so from the top i have my drone the drone i'm using is the mavic air 2. i absolutely love this drone for social media and everything i do this is literally more than enough so many cool features i have nothing but good things to say about this drone it was worth every single dollar every single last penny i actually just crashed this drone not too long ago you can kind of see it's all a little busted it's got some scrapes in the front and stuff it still worked after i crashed it though so the next thing i have is my gopro hero 7. i only really use this when it comes to water another thing that i love about the gopro that i probably use more than anything else on the gopro is the time lapse it takes amazing time lapse i just easily sneak it in some place like this and just leave it running for 20 minutes an hour and get a cool time lapse the first lens i have in my bag is a sony 1.8 55 millimeter i absolutely love this lens i haven't been using it too much lately but it's great for portraits um wedding shoots and stuff it's a super fast very very nice lens but since i've been shooting pretty much just instagram reels and tiktoks and stuff lately haven't really used this in quite a few months to be completely honest okay so that's everything from the top part of my bag right on the side here i just have my gorilla pod this comes in handy quite often the legs can kind of just bend around anything and just have a nice tripod pretty much wherever you are i would much rather carry around this than a huge tripod that i actually do have and that i hardly ever use ever and i don't even know why i have it anymore because I just use this. So in this little side pocket here, I have my old iPhone 11 Pro. This is actually the camera that I've been using more than anything <laughs> since 2021 happened. I've really only been making phone transition videos. So I have my two phones here. I have my iPhone 12 Pro Max and my iPhone 11 Pro. This is what I use for my behind the scenes. And if there's like risky underwater shot, I'll use this. Or if something's gonna get like sprayed up against it and I don't wanna worry about breaking this phone, um, I'll use this phone. You definitely don't need two phones, but I actually find it very helpful when recording TikToks and Instagram Reels, just to always have a nice behind the scenes camera available whenever and wherever I am. Okay, so let's open up the side compartment real quick. Let's see what we got in here. Here I got another lens. This is one of my favorite lens. It's a Tamron 17 to 28 millimeter, and it's just a super wide angle lens. If you're someone who really likes vlogging, then this is the lens for you. You can hold the camera just like this and see everything with it and still be able to zoom in and out. Absolutely love this lens, got nothing but good things to say about that one as well. So right in this little bag, I actually have a microphone that I'm using for this video right now. It's just a Zoom H1. It's getting pretty old right now, but it still works very good. If you want professional audio, I just have $30 lab purple panda microphone that I've been using for honestly like two years now and it still works great. If not, I use my Rode microphone that goes right on top of the camera. Obviously you guys can't see it now, but here in some B-roll, I'll show you guys what it looks like. The bottom pouch is usually where I keep my camera. That way I can just fling it up to the side like this. Super easy to pull the camera in and out and it takes up the whole entire bottom compartment um, with my 24 to 70 G Master lens on it. So the camera that I have right now and that I've been using for the last two years or so is the Sony a7 III. It's just pretty much a great all around camera. It can shoot video incredibly. It can shoot amazing photos, which is perfect for me because I just like running and gunning. I don't know if I'm gonna be shooting video or photo. I kind of make my mind up on the spot. It's got great autofocus. We're filming on it right now. It's just an all around amazing camera, especially for the price. Super affordable compared to other cameras. So so that's why I have it. Okay, so here in the back compartment is probably my favorite compartment. I have my laptop 2017 MacBook Pro. This is what I use to edit all my TikToks, what I use to edit all my YouTube videos. So yeah, this is the computer that I use to edit 
pretty much any piece of content you see from me. Another question I get all the time is how do I edit my videos? And even when I'm filming on my phone and making TikToks or Instagram reels, it's just easier for me to airdrop all the clips to my computer and edit them in Adobe Premiere Pro. And I can get everything done a lot quicker editing on my laptop and then just airdropping the videos back to my phone versus trying to edit on my phone. In this front pocket, I have my external hard drive, which I just use to back up all my files. It's just nice to always just back up everything right when I get done with the shoot. And last but not least, um, I have my notebook. Um, this is what I use to write down all of my video ideas. I love trying to stay as organized as I possibly can. Here's a list of all my new video ideas coming soon. I personally like writing on paper a lot more because I'll stare at it for a long time. I don't want to just stare at my computer screen or phone trying to think of video ideas. This is honestly one of my favorite things to have in my camera backpack. And it's also something that I use literally every single week, if not almost every single day. So a couple other really small things that I have in my camera backpack, an extra battery, some backup drone propeller wings, my charger and all my adapters for like my laptop and SD cards and stuff, my Sony remote control. This comes so in handy every single time me and Allie are trying to get like cute couple photos on the beach or something. For the longest time we used to literally like set a timer on the camera run all the way back and get into position and try to take the photo then we got this for like $30 which has saved us so much time I really prefer having the least amount of camera gear possible and just focusing on really good camera gear that I'll actually utilize all the time. I hate having my gear weigh me down, so I really try to condense my bag and everything in it to give me the lightest, easiest setup possible. But anyways, guys, that's everything I have in my camera bag. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for new videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.